Relax. Breathe. Close your eyes. You are exactly where you should be. Complete in this moment. Perfectly formed. Perfectly aware. We are... This is so much like us. We were like so happy with the way it sounded and well material. It's got like a meaning, a deeper sense and a whole story to feel for the music behind it. I mean, material means matter, the essence of everything, the substance, of everything around us. The music that we produced during uh, that album was so much cosmic gay from the early days to now. It had all influences. This is something, something different for us. And then, yeah, hey, Materia, there we are, the album. When we write an album, what we always do, very natural, is push musical limits forward. We think like art in general, you have to push forward. We were reminiscing to maybe like songs we were writing five, six, seven, eight years ago, but also to more the beginning of our sound, like when, when it was still called Hot Trans. influenced by other music. Everything around you, you absorb and bring it in somehow. It's the talent to write the track, a lot of work, yeah. all the layering, all these little tricks. When you think like, nah, it's like, it's good, it works like that. Of course it works like that, but how much nicer is it if you like, you know what I mean? Like small things, yeah. very detailed, that maybe people think you will you push, push one button for it. No, no, that could be hours of work. It makes a difference. Thank you, AD. Thank you very much, Amsterdam! It was our hobby and now as a profession for so many years and that's where our passion is coming from. We love this DJing, we love this whole club scene thing, we love producing, it's our world. Yeah, it is and it brings so many emotions also to us. Obviously while playing, seeing the crowd react to your track, that's an incredible feeling. Yeah if it works <laughs> but uh but also in the studio like so many times special moments yeah, when you feel like okay yeah. this we are onto something the track comes to get to to a certain yeah. point that we look at each other like, then like you, i'm you, getting you, goosebumps you feel just, it, yeah. and then you you basically close our eyes and imagine what this track would do like in a certain part of the set on the dance floor all i was to be with you and feel like Someone new and I could breathe if we just let down here tonight. Every track somehow comes together differently. In the end it sounds different than the first idea. Especially also with the singers, it's, it's really different every single time. For Emma Ewade, we have that track tonight on the album. Originally had written a backing for her, a totally different track. Send it to her and she's like, oh, I love the backing, let me write something for it. And then she was like, I don't know, like I have something, but I'm not, not really feeling it. But what you guys, what do you think? I have this one here and just like a vocal, no, no music, yeah. nothing. Not it's like a totally level. different thing. Do you like it? And we're like, wow. Like, we love it. This is awesome. And then we wrote the music totally opposite way. Yeah. You start working on something and then you end up the same person on a different track.
in general, when we write an album, the reason for us to write albums is not only write a single. We write tracks that our fan favorites now, for sure, I don't think would have written when it was supposed to be a single. These days, most people produce uh, singles after single, and that's probably why they don't risk that much, and that's maybe also a reason why the music is not moving forward as much as it could be. A single for a DJ always, it has to work on the dance floor, it has to be on point, it has to be maybe on top work in the radio. When we write an album, the artistic freedom is way bigger. The creation of music, it's more easy and it's more free. This is what we do like about writing albums, even in the times of, of singles and playlists. Yeah, if more people did album and just tried whatever they feel and whatever they do, instead of thinking, okay, this one has to work, next one has to work. This is like an idea for the future, work with EPs, and then come up with an album afterwards. two people feel the same way, you push ahead. If the one is having a doubt, we maybe put it aside and the next day either you were right or you were right and then it's kept on the side or we continue working. It's a big advantage. Also while playing, I think a set gets more interesting because you have two people with ideas, two people that react maybe differently in the same moment while having the same idea in mind where we want to be. It's also like when, we, when we're playing together, one is mixing and the other one can interact with the crowd. I feel like there's even more back and forth with the crowd, more interaction. That's why it's also probably more fun uh, yeah. for us. We always communicate up there. We always try to think like two, three, four records ahead, which direction do we go to? Sometimes up there it's like, hey, I wouldn't really know now. And then like Nick helps me out or I maybe help him out. And this yeah. is like, as well, the very, very beneficial and, and very yeah, easing to have like such an experienced partner up there. So every person we worked with was probably someone that we really clicked with on tour. Plus, uh, we love their sound. With Marcus and Ferry, we're like touring together so long. Then we were like, hey, come on, this has to happen. And both tracks, basically, they happen so, so quick and so fast. Oh, yeah, you're totally right. That's writing an album. That's jamming. This is like what happens by the end. You never know. basically for 20 years non-stop. We do take a weekend off here and there. Over the summer we were in Europe. We started we started in February in, in LA at Exchange, which was just awesome. We've just been back for, for part two. We had so many good shows. What really maybe stood out, it was Tomorrowland. The stage was just absolutely mind-blowing. Really mind-blowing, because usually you're like, okay, looks awesome, but you've seen it. But that was a stage where, for the first time in a long time, we were like, wow. Visuals were going, going over the ceiling. And somehow, music-wise, it just clicked. Some shows, they just happen and things fall to place. And this is certainly a top five we'll be, show. Yeah, I wanna. So it was, it was just fantastic.
on the track and you know that there is potential, but it's not there yet. And then you add something, which boom, and then in the break and these, these strings that we just had and then, oh, wow. Then we look at each other and we know like, hey, this is very emotional and at the end rewarding process. And that drives us still because we still feel it. It still, yeah, really moves us. to work in the digital world compared to to the mid 90s differences couldn't be bigger basically now here there's the macbook can do like 10 times more than the whole big room of synthesizers we have on a plane on a plane <laughs> yeah. <While> flying. <laughs> just sitting there <laughs> A lot of times we have just an, a melody in our head and then we play around with the sounds and then we come up with the beat. Where do you guys get your inspiration from? We're like, hey, actually now sitting here and talk about it, it's inspiration actually to, to reflect these things, sometimes to talk about it loud. certain songs, also like AM to PM or others, you hear those old school riffs and big anthem -y melodies. We combine it with like new progressive sound. So it, that's what we mean. It has all the influences that we, that we love during the years and still do, but yeah, combined it. People seem to be really, really happy with the idea. Nowadays, everything goes so fast, people are rushing through everything. So we experienced sometimes that when we had so many tracks on an album that people didn't even give it enough time to really enjoy and listen to every single track. Three months later, they were asking for new stuff already. And we are like, we just gave you 17 tracks. So we thought maybe it's a super idea to give them just nine and they can really, really listen to them and really feel them and give them some time. Then we give them nine new ones. At first, we weren't planning to do two chapters. We had too much music we felt worthy to release. Then we were just brainstorming. Why don't we, we release what we basically got so far? And then and we work come it up out with it. And make it. Exactly, like, make it perfect yeah. without rushing too much and pushing everyone, stressing the record company, not be on time, don't stress ourselves. And then we come up with the chapter two later. And then we bring the physical copy when these two extended EPs come together. From that moment on when we knew we don't have to over push the production process, everything felt very more organic, fell in places somehow.
we never really know ourselves how to call it because actually it's two albums but we say it's one album two extended eps and now after the release of chapter two and everything looking back giving it a thought for a second i, I could just laugh about it because it was just perfect of course we were a little afraid that people might say why is it only nine tracks not a single comment and that's rare these days <laughs> Sixteen, and, and my friends were like, why are you there DJing, private party? Why aren't you here at the bar drinking, chasing girls? I was like, I love to set the pace with them. I, I want to play that music. It's, you guys have a drink, bring me one every every half hour. I, I want to play the music. I want to I, I want to build the vibe here because I always felt the music is the most important thing. Love and, and Nick is absolutely the same. Also, we're listening to privately also to very very wide range of music from techno to house. My parents they listen to, especially my father, a lot of classical music, operas. So when I grew up, that was playing all day in our house in a volume that I couldn't even compete with. And that music obviously is extremely emotional and moving. End up with doing trance and very melodic emotional music. First when house started and then it went to acid and then that whole techno house movement from Sven Fed, West Bam and Germany were very influential. So when that whole thing started, there was no more stopping. So we, we were in it from day one. And for me personally, I always loved music, but when this, let's call it techno, this techno thing started every week, going to the record shop in goosebumps, new tracks, new sounds, new visions, just talking about it, I get yeah, so, yeah, me too. I get I get so, so excited. excited. <laughs> yeah. In the digital world these days, sometimes maybe can get a little bit lost, but this passion still drives us. <laughs> We don't really prepare a set. For us, that wouldn't make sense. The idea of DJing is to be there in the moment, go with the flow, decide on the spot what we want to play, where we want to head with the music. Preparing a set, knowing every track, that wouldn't make sense. First of all, it's boring. and We wouldn't be here anymore, probably, because we would be bored. Second of all, it's just way more organic again. It's like, it's natural. It's a natural feel, a natural process. It's the only way DJ makes sense for us. Feeling a crowd out is like something very important. And that's why, like, to prepare, we couldn't do it. We, we wouldn't want to do it, and it won't work out for us. tonight big show with ASOT here in Amsterdam you're focused on the future and we're looking forward to be back and DJing
It was uh, great, actually. <laughs> yeah. From now on, can we can, can you come tour with us? No, also, <laughs> really. 